now, your Sam Lehman Morton Sports Desk with Mac McLean. It's another busy Saturday of basketball here in Central Illinois. Bradley and Illinois State both in action at home after winning their respective conference opening games on Wednesday. At Carver Arena today, Bradley playing host to Southern Illinois Edwardsville. Early on, the Braves going down low to their big man rink. Mass little left hand hook shot is good. Nine points and nine rebounds for Mass. Vile Tavanine has been red hot the last couple of games. He makes a trio of three balls in the contest for nine points. Jashawn Henry with a tough drive here draws the contact. Score plus the foul. Henry with 11 points for the Braves. Bradley ends the first half on a 22 to 4 run. Terry Roberts, a crafty move here in the lane. He leads the Braves with 17. And Jason Kent comes off the bench. He makes four three balls. Kent adds 13 points as Bradley rolls to an 80 to 55 victory, a third straight win for the Braves. Illinois State at home against Jackson State at Redbird Arena this afternoon. This was a tight contest throughout. Josiah Strong with a little hesitation dribble to fake to the drive. In for two on the right hand. That's going to be Antonio Reeves catching in the corner. Tremendous little move here to the baseline. Drives it and going to lay it up and in off the reverse. He scores a team high 14. How about this one? Mark Freeman with the lob to side Chapman for the big two handed alley oop jam. ISU's down by two at halftime. Howard Fleming is going to fire from way downtown. He buries it. Fleming adds 10 points. But Jackson State, they had just one win on the season coming into this game. They get the upset win, alley oop of their own for the Tigers. Bad loss for ISU, 61 55. Division three hoops tonight. Second ranked Illinois Wesleyan opens CCIW play against Carroll. Luke Yoder opens up the scoring for the Titans. Three ball corner pocket. The Central Catholic product scores 10. Then it's going to be Matthew Larritz finding Corey. No, the shot fake sets up the jumper. Nothing but net. Larritz leads the way with 14 points and 15 rebounds. A nice little footwork down here for the bucket. Peter Lambesis also scores 14. A nice lay in transition here. The Titans now 7 0 to start the season thanks to a 63 44 victory. The IWU women's basketball team beat Carroll while Bradley lost at North Dakota State. Let's now move to high school hoops and we'll begin with some middle line eye action on the boys' side. As Washington travels to Limestone, the Rocket Rowdy student section out in full force tonight. Off of the inbounds play, they're excited about this one. Cooper Weibel crashing the board, scores off the putback, two of his 15. On the other end, it's going to be Drew Lewis stepping into the mid range J for the Panthers. A close game throughout, but Limestone is a winner. Daquan Brown, the smooth step back J. He scores 24. Rockets are winners 60 to 53. At Pekin's Custard Stout Gymnasium, the Dragons playing host to Dunlap. First play of the game and an Eagles alley oop. Perfect lob to the backside. Jack Tudine lays it in. The Dragons are going to answer. Kick it outside to Mason Hess, who knocks down the three pointer in the corner. Dunlap gets a steal here. They go coast to coast. How about Brock Card for the lay in? Dunlap wins a close one 46 to 40. Canton beats Morton in the other middle line eye game. Richwoods knocked off state ranked Notre Dame Friday night, the Knights at IVC this evening. Check out Jalen Brown here off the putback, a little one handed finish off the glass for two. Here come the Gray Ghosts in transition. Bounce pass ahead, Tyler Houston knocks down the three. He had 15 for IVC, but Richwoods comes out on top. It's Markel Newsome. The drive floats it up and in, nothing but net. Richwoods wins 52 to 34. Middle Illini girls game this afternoon, Washington. Travels to Pekin. The Dragon Zoe Corma with the feed to Lexi Kessler. Nice little fake for the bucket. One night after scoring one, her 1,000th career point, Georgia Duncan leads her team to a win, knocks down that three. Later, it's Carly Vaughn making this trifecta as Washington's a winner, 49 to 28. 